Thank you, Mr. Selinger, and thank you also, Senator Melendez. Our next speaker will be Delphine Haugand. From, she's the Washington Director of Reporters Without Borders. Thank you for inviting me today. It's a real honor to be here. So, I'm the U.S. representative of Reporters Without Borders, which is the largest press freedom organization in the world. So what it means is that since 1985, we defend journalists and we defend anybody who can be persecuted for what they think and believe. That's why I'm here today. Because today in China, as you all know, Falun Gongs are persecuted, arrested, tortured, and killed. But also Tibetans, Uyghurs, journalists, citizen journalists, or anybody who express themselves freely could face persecution. China is ranked 174th out of 179 countries in our last press freedom index. I could spend the day making a list of violation of freedom in China. Today I will just give you some example of violation of freedom of information. Websites are blocked every day, social networks are censored, journalists are dismissed when, cover, co when covering sensitive issues. There are continuous attacks by Chinese authorities on media, artists, human rights activists. I just want to mention two examples today, just to remind you that Hu Jia, the human rights activist, was beaten up on June 20th. Or also I want to remind you the case of the world famous artist A Weiwei, which is still facing improper legal proceedings. But not only Chinese people are persecuted, I want to make you realize that even foreign media are facing freedom violation. The Bloomberg website was censored end of June after publishing an investigation on the Vice President Xi Jinping. But also the Al Jazeera English office was closed after its main reporters was exposed. The Chinese authorities are stepping up efforts to silence criticism and even independent reporting taking advantage of indifference in the international community. Without free Chinese and foreign media in China, persecutions against Falun Gong, against Tibetan, against artists, against journalists, but against any citizens will be more easily forgotten. So I just want you to thank you for being here today to show that we don't forget them. Thank you.